the overall results uh, analyzed as the FDA now is recommending, the so-called snapshot analysis at 48 weeks, less than 50 copies, showed a very good performance for Altegravir. 64% of the patients were undetectable, less than 50 copies, but Dolutegravir showed 71%, with a 7% 7, uh, 7 difference. And if you look at the confidence interval, with a tail of uh, minus plus uh, 12%, Superiority can be claimed for dolutegravir on a statistical basis. In regards to uh, adverse events, there was no difference uh, uh, when you compare both arms. Uh, both drugs are extremely safe. Uh, and what is interesting is that uh, the, the, the difference between arms is mainly due to virological failure that was more frequent in the raltegravir arm compared to the, the, the dolutegravir arm. And among patients that failed, almost no resistance was selected in the dolutegravir arm, while uh, um, a number of patients selected the, the known resistant mutations for raltegravir in the, in the uh, comparator arm. So uh, after that, uh, other, other uh, analyses were also performed, like per protocol analysis, which confirmed the difference that, uh, that was seen. Interestingly enough, in those patients that, were, that had used darunavir, uh, without any, any uh, uh, baseline resistant mutations, uh, the efficacy of raltegravir and, and dolutegravir was exactly the same. There was no difference. But in patients that didn't use darunavir or, or, or uh, were exposed to, to, to darunavir during this trial, but with uh, baseline resistant mutations, uh, the difference in favor of, 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 uh, in favor of dolutegravir popped up again. So in summary, uh, I think we have a, a potential new new drug in the integrase inhibitor class that uh, probably will will add to our treatment uh, armamentarium. <laughs>